A very good morning to you guys. Welcome to Asake Online. My name is Bright. Today we're coming live uh, from March 29, right here at JW Mtimkulu Primary School, where I'm going to be interviewing the councillor for this ward. Get to know the ward and different problems that are faced by people from this ward. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the show and enjoy the discussion uh, with the councillor. So join, joining me now is the councillor. Councillor, good morning to you. Welcome to the show. Morning, morning. Thank you very much, Mr. Mabe. Let's talk about the boundaries from this ward. Where does your boundary, the ward stretch from here to today? Okay, uh, my ward consists of three suburbs. There is Makwek West uh, to the western side of Ntemba Road. There is uh, the wall of Makwek North and uh, part of Lopengula up to Mountain View. That's ward 29. That's my ward. So how do you communicate Labantu Laba from these different areas? You mentioned different places, right? How do you communicate them for feedback meetings or for any development happening in your ward? Okay. Uh, normally I have what I call monthly feedback meetings. I do them on a rotational basis. Let's say this month I'm in Makoko West, the following month I'll be in Makoko North, then the other month in Lopengula West, Jalon Jalo. When it comes to these meetings, Councillor, uh, I want to speak about different challenges that are facing. I know now we calendar by What are the key issues that people are saying this is our problems facing by 129 people? Yeah, Amans is the Tony in our flesh. Really, to be honest, uh, it's unfortunate that we use Ulgalisana and Agatesi and as Matepele and we in dry regions. So Amanzi is a very big problem in my ward. Because as, uh, as it is now, uh, I'm sure we've got, if not two or one pole that is yielding Amanzi and Ani Angono for not maybe for, for drinking or what. But I want to say one other about the option. And it's for analysis is a Makoko West Lapane my shop. Makoko North there's no pole. Then there's the other one in Lopengula West, but the, the water was condemned. This is not safe for for portable use. But I want to buy Zusa now what the council is going through this water shedding, one twenty hour water shedding. But as you know those challenges and what are your plans for this ward, in particular in the months to solve water crisis for this ward? Yeah. I want to I'm, I'm grateful for, for, for my people. They are very understanding. Yeah, because I mean, what I've done, I've opened up what I call a, a, my, communi my communication group, Laban. I almost on a daily basis, uh, I update them. I'm to say that I'm going 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 to say that we have a good relationship, Labanto. Honestly speaking, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have such a, a community. Mm. Now, let's look at the, the, the resident associations. I know in other areas, Global Zbote, Global Bupra, and Bura, and so on. How is your working relationship with these resident associations in your, in your community? Very good. Actually, uh, I formed what I call a, a word better society, like the executive. Yeah. In that executive, I've seen the Bupra, Labe Bura. We are working so perfectly. At times, I've been poor. But when I've been meeting, I've been buying visa. I've recently. I've been poor. Man, recently they conducted their their elections. Unfortunately, I was busy then. But our relationship is just good. Now let's reflect on the sewer systems. I know many councillors have been crying about sewer systems in terms of their areas. You say. Is why to have more paper damage and then happen is flowing so and so on. Speak to us about the state of your sewer systems in one twenty nine. Uh, honestly speaking, the uh, our sewers are not very good. Uh, there's a sewer line which is supposed to transport by the by the bridge there. There's a sewer line which is supposed to transport waste from from Pomola and some parts of Makoko waste. It was broken, so most of the sewer which is flowing from that side is flowing into the streams polluting the environment so on part of our sewer uh, it's very bad uh, i'm sure this is attributed to the to what to to the old age of the infrastructure because uh, i'm an engineer myself i understand that these things are have a design life so once that is, is reached uh, most of the stuff will be something else but also as an engineer coming with a background from engineering what can be done because this issue is affecting the entire Bulawa, what can be done maybe to avoid this sewer system being blocked and also this, uh, this breaking, breaking, breaking of the sewer system? Okay. Uh, 
this is my view. I think in my in my in my point of view, uh, I mean council. I understand that we were financially constrained. If we can maybe be in partnership with private uh, players, so that we they can rehabilitate maybe the the whole of the reticulation system in Bulawayo, I'm I'm sure it will go a long way in in, in improving this uh, this problem. But also sit in the community for engineering in, in the city of Bulawayo, right? Have you ever spoken about this issue? Say we can do A, B, C, and D to solve our sewer systems in Bulawayo. Yes, we did. We did. Uh, actually, it's like what I've told you before that we were, co we were cash constrained, but so far we've. Uh, I'm happy that our director, Mr. Ngobe, the engineer Ngobe, uh, if they've engaged four contractors to look into the, the these sewage problems. And they, last week, I'm sure they started last week, and they'll be coming, they'll be visiting all the wards. So I'm sure this will go a long way, but uh, it, it, it did not be maybe of financial concerns. I think uh, we could have been engaging more and more of these players to come and try and rectify the problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now let's move on to look at the education sector in your ward. How many primary schools are there in your ward? How many high schools are there in your ward? And are they enough? For the, to cater for the entire population? Well, I won't say they are enough or not, but uh, there are two primary schools. There is this one, the JW Primary School, JW Timpli Primary School, there is uh, Mazu Primary School, and one high school, uh, Masocha Secondary High School. Uh, well, I've, I haven't heard of any, like, like saying maybe they are overpopulated or what. So far, I think maybe they can cater for the for the population, for the for the population in the ward, because yeah. they also serve other people from other wards. Others, yeah. Hey, I want to speak about the feedback meetings to say hey, we, we do rotational meetings across uh, in your ward, right? In terms of the attendance, how is the attendance? Are young people coming through to those meetings? Well, I'm I'm disappointed to say most of my meetings are attended by the by old by the aged people uh, young most young people they, they they really come to my meetings i i don't know what's the problem but i must say i'm happy uh, by the attendance of my of these old people they are, they are so developmental oriented and they are, they are so they love their community so much yeah so is speaking of what the old people are the ones coming to these meetings right consists of old suburb, right? How is the payment of in terms of rent downs? Are they paying their rent downs, looking at them, how is the payment of rent downs? Uh, honestly speaking, but uh, Mina very from my 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 research, I've seen what is in the Slalong Abantaba talent, is this but cool with you ama young generation le uh, cause in, in most instances young generation maybe yabi yabi ifando ngama transportians abazale ngai ba outside the country and once betu mezi ma luti zamanu pata la marense staff uh, the young generation normally they're so much into drugs and drinking and wetine bring asa pata le gathi lokuthi but abantu abadala i i must salute them for that yeah, speaking of young people and being involved in drugs, I know this is a problem that affecting the entire world, right? What is your experience in terms of the white line? What have you seen in terms of young people being involved in drug and alcohol abuse? Yeah, it's so bad, Shem. If you visit, maybe I'm a shopping center, I've got my uh, sea water shopping center, there's Mazaiwan and Makwekwe North, there's Saimat. Uh, they cannot do with that. And it has affected us big time and uh, i don't know what to guys one but maybe uh, we could create maybe ama 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 youth centers so that maybe these people may be occupied you know the bible say uh, 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 an idle mind is a devil it's a devil's workshop so am I seeing that aba sebens very interesting ngapha there's nothing that can keep them busy but when I see Benjani, see we have the pressure to be, be tattooed, to be addicted. Moba, 
Abanya civil Abanya sin seven and Batlanya. They are not they are not that normal. But I can say about it's, it's it's very bad. But maybe it's because of the situation. But if you come to these communities, I come to your wife and say, guys, uh, people know who sells these drugs to young people. And some can point to Indiana and they sell these drugs. But what, what, what is being done to those people? Is the council, are you engaging local the authorities, the police, are you engaging the, the residents? They would guys stop this. What are you doing as a council to be proactive on the issue of drug and abuse? Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, in uh, go go what committee I'm there is a committee on drugs and substance abuse. Uh, the problem is that there is a the when nothing as why you are taking some drugs. And when the po police are or am I, this law enforcing agency, if they visit, being a visitor and Ali, Sasa I forgot to take food. So at times our hands are tied. Maybe I, I think there's a bigger hand up there which is protecting them, which becomes a, a problem to us. I want Kunzima, honestly. Uh, I wish we could maybe fight song in one direction, yeah, to keep, to combat into another sense of life. Because the 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 house is known in Makoko North, but one two days when I'm landed, Kusasa to have a sitting is a food. And the other thing, Aba ni be saba food to to ukamba wanda bating sama tracks on other level. So it's, it's a problem. Nothing I get to say that one is a community, but I would like to urge uh, when I love Aba. I be sabu go report abanjalu. Come to my inbox, call me. Me, I will take the matter up. I'm your, I'm your leader. You elected me on trust. I'm willing to take the matter up, even to high offices. Yeah. Now let's, let's look at the, the, the state of the lighting, the tower lights in your ward. Are they working or all the tower lights? I know this has taken over now. The tower lights, uh, they're putting prepared meters on those tower lights. What's your take on the, on that and the state of the tower lights? How are they working? Yeah, they've been working, but recently I got a report that there's tower light, is it number 99 and 100 in North? It wasn't working. I don't know whether Zesa is just disconnected uh, it because, the, like what you are saying, Zesa is, 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 is moving from conventional to metering. So, Angabile Shukti is because of Zesa land, and, but I forwarded the, because the, I could platform here, yeah, and then go to my residents. I tell them to report any fault, and then I forward to relevant departments in the in the council. So I forwarded it. Normally they mm -hmm. they, they they respond with a feedback. But I don't know what is the SSC visit. But the duration now I'm suspecting to English is visited those satellites. But uh, we are looking for a a, a, a a solution to this problem. Yeah, light. Yesterday we were discussing the engineering committee. I'm sure the, the, the solution would be solarizing. But I would like to appeal to Zesa Futu uh, Zesa. Why are you charging your people? Why are you charging your right council for lighting for the public? This should be your social corporate, social corporate responsibility. Sit la 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 na bantu benu bezi sala apa. Katia si la pa gule leni preach la pa ngao jula uvene ma koko wetu sema koko north because of the darkness. Gule gule puma la pa if we ngalge la jula la pa na gule puma la pa li li stretcher from in preach le le la siya changa le gunte mbarod. Abantu baba abantu jungu nzuko na pa na and Zesa is switching off lights to to um to to the residents, which is very bad. Honestly, I'm appealing to Zesa to reconsider that stance. Of course, the council is, in, is, is trying to find a long-lasting solution by uh, implementing solar lighting. But for oh, Zesa on your part, please reconsider this stance. You are going to be able to light. If you are going to be able to light, you be human enough, please. On that issue there of of and so on, do you guys have neighbors that neighborhood watch that watch over the, the neighborhood at night and so on? Yes, we do. In my work, West is working super, uh, but I, I have a problem maybe with my work or not mm -hmm. because uh, uh, recently I was told to I want to work on Abanye. Most of them are they are not amatini in Sakona Pana Jabo. So at times like. 
for example, if someone is not from Bulawayo, he cannot have a what it exactly light heart out If someone is talking of Bulawayo, this is my place. And so I mean a process of putting is I'm putting established. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a complaint that I hate, which most of them are. It's not, I'm not saying they're not doing their job. No, I'm not saying that. But I think singa faga abantu abaninga tibe zinju la pana bebe yibu abakangi diskava sabo. I think it will go a long way in protecting the the, the properties in Makoko North. Uh, but uh, and uh, also, uh, look, in Wala West, they are doing a very good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, if you're just joining us, we're coming live from JJW Mtimkulu Primary School, where I'm interviewing Councillor Sekete there of Ward 29. Talking about different issues affecting this ward, uh, one of the key issues are sewer systems, uh, the issue of the lighting systems in this ward. But also, Councillor, as you reflect on these challenges faced by your ward, we are coming live today. There's a, a mine behind us here. How has this mine affected your ward? I know it's close to your ward as well. How has this mine affected your ward in terms of your residence and so on? How has it affected your ward? Mm, my friend, uh, residents are up in arms are over these arms because at times the, the blasting is so intense. If only you could get time to visit the, the houses they are in. The, most of houses in the nearby homes they are so cracked. So I don't know what the government can do about this mine. I've visited these people trying to talk to them, but it seems uh, there's no solution at the end. I don't know what is happening, but people are crying. Their houses are cracked. Yeah, so my crack among Nanila. Just last week, is it last week or a week ago, they had at this school it, to dismiss Abantuana uh, before time because of the intensity of the blast. It was like an earthquake. Uh, I hate it's like there was a, even Great dust, great dust in your hands. You wait, masters or travel to an abandon by Chinese. So, I don't know what the government in us in general and journey. I don't know what the EMA how these guys got to know to get the their license near so so much near the, the, the residential areas and schools for that matter. As you can hear now, there are sounds, the mining operations, and they are disturbing students at school. Learners are trying to learn, but this is, the machines are making noise. So it's, it's, it's very bad. Very bad. In terms of engagement with the, minor, the, 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 the mines, authorities, what are, they, what are they saying about this issue? When I went there, I met uh, these Chinese guys. Uh, one of them said, uh, okay, we've heard you, councillor. We're trying to, we'll try and what minimize the, the intensity of our blasting to, to, to allow it to stand out. But that has not happened. So those residents that have cracked houses, what are they saying to you as a council about engagement in terms of getting the mine, the mine and also maybe compensation for their houses? Uh, I've heard that Emma people have been interviewing them. They've been going house by house, uh, trying to see for themselves first and the cracks that are said to be occurring there. So uh, I'll be taking the matter with, uh, with Emma to see how far they are. But at times there's a level of beyond which I can Africa corner, my hands are tied. So my appeal is to, to, to government to consider the people who are 29 who are also human. We cannot be uh Sibanga Lum Sindo, Imai Nabantu and Abasafun de Gas Pumla Ayali just lapa to the because my what is is adjacent to what seventeen. I my in a lay packet was gold, Abantu and Abasafun de Gatli. So I'm appealing to, to, to government to seriously consider uh, doing something about this mine. Hmm. This is the engineering, co engineering community. What can you expect from this community going forward for the city of Bulawai for this ward? What are the plans that are, the, are from the engineering community for Bulawai? Yeah, uh, well, I might say, uh, so far we, had, uh, we, we have a, a, a new director of, 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 of works by the name uh, Engineer TVT. He's doing great, even if you you may travel, the state of roads is trying its best. So, Tina is, is engineering committee. It's only that uh, it, it, road construction is so expensive. It costs about 500,000 to, uh, to 1.2 million to construct a kilometer of good road. So, what, what, uh, what we are doing, Lame, the committee too, we are appealing uh, for funds if the government can 
release funds ama 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 zinara funds in time for 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 the works department to what to 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 rehabilitate our road infrastructure in the city and in our suburbs i think that will go, go a long way in, in making the lives of our people better could you visit your what council i want to know maybe some monuments that are there in your what where can i go and visit and say this defines what to nine where can i go and see uh, different places in what to nine that define what to nine yeah we are seated here at jwm team cool is one of the it's one of the schools which is bearing the name of our our lord our, our what our our all liberation heroes uh, there's also Totobisa beer garden there. If you are, if you can drink, there is there are nice chairs there. You can relax with your friends if you want to come there and drink. There's also Masocha High School, which bears the name of Masocha. Uh, I think these are a few of them, because they are no. I'm Amanya Malo Kuzenini. Amanya Mai. Maybe you can talk of Makoko North, which is an old suburb. Yeah, we migrated mostly from Malawi, coming to work in Zimbabwe when our economy was just was doing good then. But yeah, there are a few places. Lastly, comes a lot of your plans for the water retention fund. If you get those funds, Mr. Mobano is at two to this water nine. Okay. Uh, my plans, I've made them public to my community, actually. Uh, we are told that uh, slay twenty-seven thousand US dollars. Now seeing that I'm as I asked low power and uh, earlier on I, I spoke with slay two balls, auntie. We agreed with the people in my community with uh, let's let's go for solarized balls. So if the funds permitting uh, my my plans were to put maybe two in Makoko North, two in Lopengula West, and two in Makoko West. Maybe I, I think that way will ease the, the, the water problems in the world. Yeah. Last to speak to your residents, council around the issue of alcohol abuse. Speak to the young people around the issue of alcohol abuse. Uh, speak to your residents in terms of payment of rent downs. There's a camera there. Speak to your residents about that. Thank you very much. Yeah, but we cannot do that nothing support by paying uh, your bills you wana u council ulibongile kathe sile 27000 it's worth an hour, and so far, Tina says for me, and this is a fun for a man, a solar powered balls. So, I would like to encourage each and every one of us with us, but Alain Amarets Wednesday, in his capacity to two again, yes, is situated in Mabatandegayo, but let's try our best. This is our what? I will love you, Montoza, as a swing sailor, Mina Lao is Lom Land, Yavonga Batandegayo. Thank you very much. Council, thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank you, Mr. Nobe. Well, you've been watching the interview I'm having there with Councillor Segedek from Watch 29, uh, speaking about different issues that are affecting this ward, one of them being key, the issue of sewer systems, issue of water, and is appealing to you guys to pay your rent on time so you guys can get your loan and better service delivery. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And guys, we value your comments and your feedback. Uh, please do DM us your comments and do pass your feedback also there uh, via the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed the discussion that we've had this morning. Uh, from myself, Brighton Nobe, it's bye for now.